First tonight, a man is at the ACI arrested in connection to a deadly crash early this morning. State police made that arrest, but as Eyewitness News reporter Eric Halperin tells us, this suspect was wanted by several local police departments. Eric joins us now with more on this crash. Kate, I'm in the area between Branch Ave and North Main Street. The po police say the suspect was eventually caught about a street over from here. Police say he fled on foot after crashing his car on the highway, which is about a thousand feet from here, leaving his passenger behind. Traffic on 95 North near the Branch Ave exit flowing smoothly on Saturday afternoon, but overnight it's where a deadly crash happened. Rhode Island State Police are now charging this 31-year-old Providence man, Anthony Correa, in connection. Police say a little after 3 Saturday morning, he was speeding when he crashed into the median on 95 North near Branch Ave. There was also a passenger in the car. Police have identified him as 35-year-old Jason Arosary of Cranston. According to investigators, he was not wearing a seatbelt, was thrown from the car, and died at the scene. After that all happened, police say Correa ran off on foot. He made it to Abbott Street where he was caught by Providence Police. The pinpoint news tracker shows you where the crash happened on the highway and where police say he was caught shortly after. The way the crow flies, it's about a thousand feet. Correa is now facing several charges including driving under the influence, death resulting, obstructing a police officer, and according to state police, this is his third offense of driving with a suspended, revoked, or canceled license. And Correa also had warrants for felony charges from the Warwick and North Providence Police Departments. He is being held at the ACI, and the crash is still under investigation. In Providence, I'm Eric Halpern, Eyewitness News.